for a charger? Uh, you told me before, but I forgot. Kai, kai means, it's Polynesian, uh, from from the water, of the water. And that's uh, a very, very cool name. My boy was nearly called Kai because of that. And you didn't even know. There you go. So, where else are you based, mate? Uh, Fremantle. Frio. I was speaking to a guy from Frio before. He tells me his best snapper, 1.35 metres. Is that possible? Out of Frio. You better say yes because you could be listening. Yeah. That's what I thought. Um, what do you like to catch around Freo? Um, around Freo. Sambos. Big Sambos? And snapper. So what's what's your biggest snapper? Do you weigh them or do you measure them? Uh, like, do you like to measure your fish yeah. safe? Yeah, so what's your longest snapper? 91. 91 centimetres. That's a cracking fish. Isn't it amazing? When I was your age, how old are you? 14. When I was 14, we would never measure a fish, ever. The only fish that ever got ma measured were Murray Cod and Barra Mundies. Everyone wanted to meet a Barra. Now, it's interesting that everyone measures fish, which is really, really exciting, because I would say my biggest snapper was, say, 30 pound. But it's changed, and looking at measuring fish, you don't have to kill it to actually measure it. And the IGFA, which is the International Game Fishing Association, now have world records, which you blokes should be on to. World records for measuring fish. You can actually catch a fish, measure it on the map, let it go and still claim a world record. And the fish must swim away alive for that record to stand. And I think that's really exciting because everyone now coming through is talking about length rather than weight. So um, what was the second fish you love to catch? Sambos. Yeah, Sambos. What's your biggest Sambo? Uh, just shy of 40 kilos. Just shy of 40 kilos. You wouldn't weigh 40 kilos, would you? No. That's incredible. 40 kilo Sambo, were you fished off the back of Rotto? Yeah. Um, what do you think about the shark problem out there? They, is it slowed the sambos down? Yeah, it's not fun when you get a sambo near the side of the boat and they're dead eating. And are they makos or whalers they're eating them? Whalers. Whalers, that's not too, they pull too hard. Um, so the sambo fish, I fished for the sambos a lot in 2005. In fact, the very first episode of I Fish that ever aired was out of Hillary's Catching Samson Fish with my good mate Hal Harvey and Matty Gates over there. So has the fishery got better, worse? How do you see it? Um, I think it's getting better, but that's what I think. So there's still plenty of fish. Do you do any land-based fishing for people who don't have a boat? Yeah, do it with them land-based. And what are the options land-based? Snapper, um, gummies, um, that sort of stuff. So there's plenty of options, which is really exciting because not everyone can afford a boat, and that's why I love land-based fishing. Kai, you're a star. Thank you very much. Um, can you get one of your mates who actually has never caught a fish maybe? We'll stitch him. Or maybe the young bloke who just caught... I'd like to speak to someone who's caught a fish in the last 10 minutes. Here he is. That's me. This is